Get ready. Nope. Mm -hmm. You take I'm taking the pop one the day with a visit to Ingro station of the engine sheds and a, and a museum, and a museum. rail story yeah. museum turn left onto the A6033 you are approaching a junction the junction is your destination yes here Oh, who are we going there? Oh, wow. Right, have you got the museum ticket? Look at that. Eh? Yep, that's Pops. the museum. Pops. Look. In the workshop. I you think she says that a uh, little bit every time someone comes in. <laughs> <laughs> all separate organisations. Now this is actually is a separate organisation, but the ticket gets you in here, so. Yeah. This is the locomotive they're currently restoring, the Harmers. Yeah, we've got some lottery funding to restore it. Sorry. Yeah, it's the predecessor of this one. <laughs> a railway enthusiast. Lots of more photography stuff here, look. Oh, look at that. A Fujika camera. Right, you're going to give this sta these stairs a go, eh? Yeah? Yep, we're all right. We're going up the stairs. Well done. Hmm. Be like a, a lovely model. Wow. All the crankshafts and. Good that. It's tiny down there. <laughs> No. So like a signal box, I suppose, in here. Yeah, yeah, very much so, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, you remember that you said that steam locomotives for a hundred years was the only viable form of traction. Mm. different parts. That is one big spanner. signs bill, po bill posters will be prosecuted and triang railways see I had some triang models and I also had some Ormby ones Steam breakdown crane built in 1931. Newton Heath was where Manchester United were. Oh, was it? They were originally called. They were called Newton Heath, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. 
It was used to help with the installation of coastal defence heavy gun batteries near Dover. And they were installed to protect against the risk of invasion. 1940. Following the war it was used to assist with the clearance of most of the country's most serious railway accidents. That of Bourne End near Hemel Hempstead in September 1945 cost the lives of 43 people. Seven years later in October 52 helped with a clear up following the double collision at Harrow and Wealdstone. There were 112 fatalities and then based as a crane in Allerton it became surplus to requirements. It was sold to a member of the Bahama Locomotive Society. This one. We continue to maintain it in working working order. Thanks, T. So that's some beast, isn't it? It is, yeah. Right, let's get in the engine shed. So this is the Museum of Rail Travel, so this is another trust. So let's have a look. The south coast of England. The southern have brought out their favourite guide to holidays by the southern railway. It's for holidays 1947. Let's not forget, ladies and gentlemen, that the sun shines most on the southern coast. <laughs> and you can travel in the comfort of one of the Chatham Coronel coaches, just like the one here at the museum. I wonder if they have bring the little boy at the end of the platform back into service again. Do you remember the coach? Looking over the fireman on the footplate and saying, I am taking an early holiday, because I know summer comes soonest in the saddle. Lovely poster there. Wouldn't be surprised if they're still using that idea years into the future. Now, where will it be this year, eh? Eastbourne, for whom sounds perfect for the kiddies. <laughs> Six miles. Well, you can actually get into the carriages here. Yeah, I think it's round through the middle. Yeah. Hastings is the only good scout. One in the eye for Arrow Guns. Or down for her for Terrains to gain Paris. And mark my word, if you do want to go to France, you can take the boat train direct to Paris by the Southern Rail. Train to Paris, Pops? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Emergency timetables. London Underground map, that's the original underground type map before they standardised it. these signs. Imported cars from Germany, Opals. And the electric railway, even Guildford. Devonville. Wow, look at the crowds there. <laughs> I find the signs more fascinating than the coaches, to be honest. Yeah. Historian carriages here. Oh wow, 
look at the paintwork. That's great, isn't it? Mm. Have a look at the carriages, eh, girls? Oh, there you are. <laughs> are you allowed in here, up. girls? Oh wow, look at this. Don't get up oh. in the seats. Oh wow. Going northern railway. Wow. These are <laughs> sumptuous seats. Yeah. These are really they? comfortable seats. It's really inviting, are not they? Good oh, yeah. It's like armchairs, aren't they? I oh, know. Wow, this would have been the way to travel. We've got a toilet at the back here. Please do not use this toilet. I'm going to drop down uh, pump, wa uh, pump water for basin. I thought you were going to say drop down there. Well, no, it's a drop down. Um, sink, you know, like on some motorhomes that you get the, in the bathroom. Yeah, it's not one of those. Yeah, from the 30s. <laughs> it's my yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Poppy's not all that impressed, are you? It should be. That's incredible. I mean, look at the quilt in the door. Yeah. There's a QR code there to learn more about this carriage. Get out the window. Hmm. Yeah, I think we could stay here. Mm. Should we stay here, Pops? So this is your own little private cabin then? I suppose so, yeah. Family would get, could have this, couldn't they? Five of you. One, two, three, four, five here. Yeah. yeah. What do you reckon, T? Is that alright? Is it comfy? I don't know, you won't let me on the chair. <laughs> Come on then. I'm going to have a look in the other. And this one over here. Third, third class one. Come on. Nicely restored. The seats are a little bit harder. It's not bad. You'd have about four or five along here, though, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's sort of hard on you. Yeah. Back. Yeah. No, I think I'd take the first. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not staying in here now. I'm, I'm upgrading to first class. <laughs> that's a great Northern Railway break third class carriage. It had a wooden frame and a wooden body. The external panelling is varnished teak. And it's a brake carriage so it had a brake compartment for the guard. Oh, he had a look at, it's the same, it had a little um, ducket at the end there, the little bit that sticks out. So he could look out to the carriage, all the, all the length of the carriages, without sticking his head out and getting his head knocked off. These have been in quite a few films. It's sort of listed all the Oh wow, yeah. Secret agent. Testament of youth. Kit Harrington was in here. Yeah. Game of Thrones. Knew he was right. Woman in white. Well. Have a look in the uh, goods compartment. Thank you. 
whole of that end of the coach had just vanished, the burnt pit was no longer there. When he came into the workshop, he took the brake end off, took it back to my workshop, re-erected the charred remains of it, and then we, uh, you know, then started to build it back up again. Once we'd done that and were satisfied, we built it back here. We then... Did you see the trains? Oh, what a sight, mate. All those little deers leaving their mums to go and live somewhere out in the wilds of the countryside. There's a lot of tears there, I'll tell you. So it's an underground. Oh, yeah. That sounds like train. another red one. Oh, right, okay. It was on another bombing raid. Right? Mm. Oh. Under the Baskervilles. Come on, then, Pops. Let's see what's going on in here. I was at home there. I was, I was, I was just thinking. Oh. You were thinking, Watson? Yes. Yes, I was just thinking how much railways it featured in our adventures. Do you really think so, Watson? Yeah, yes, well, there was the case of the Bruce Partington plans. Capital, Watson. And that was only the start of the mystery, for if you recall, he did not have a ticket. Did he have a ticket? Went through Great Missenden. <laughs> A lot of films use these carriages. This one. Wood, wooden. Wooden benches. Yeah. Hello, oh, what are you doing in here? This isn't a passenger compartment, you know. <laughs> You're not allowed in here at all, really. Well, since you are here, I'll let you have a quick look round. Be, be careful there on the step. You know, I'll bet you thought the guard's job was nice to meet you. But all you had to do was to blow the whistle and wave the flag when the train sets off. Well, truth to tell, being a guard is a very responsible job. I have to check all the carriages to make sure they're in a fit state for them. I have a special hand map, I have to use it at night, or when the weather's bad. And a red flag and a green one. Excuse me, is this is this ca carriage occupied? It is, by Tara and me. Oh. May I join you? There's a Penshurst Castle over there. Oh, oh blimey, that's a long way down. Yeah, one It's like one of those Ag Agatha Christie carriages, isn't it, this yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. Murder on the, uh, on the Orient Express. Express. Yeah. So it's used in Sherlock Holmes' Silver Blaze. Yeah. Testament of Youth again. Alicia Vikander and Kit Harrington were filming inside this compartment. Hmm. All the characters hmm. in there. Victoria Wood and Jason Watkins inside here. Yeah. Oh, and Peaky Blinders. Sam Neill was filmed inside this compartment. Booze cruise. <laughs> Here's what are a toilet. you doing in here? Here's the toilet facilities. Oh, they don't look all that brilliant, do they? <laughs> Into a long dark tunnel. The smoke came into our compartment tonight to put a scarf over your face to prevent breathing. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, yeah, wow. So, what's that? That's Bradshaw's map of the railways, canals, 
navigable rivers and mineral districts of Great Britain reduced from the Ordnance Survey showing, showing spell S-H-E-W-I-N-G all the railway junction stations also the lines which the electric telegraph is laid down huh. look at that and the old counties as well Cumberland Cumberland, Westmoreland Dumfriesshire yeah Woodtownshire there yeah, we've been to Ayrshire. We've been right down to there, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> it's New England Bay there, isn't it? Yeah. And down there as well. Yeah, and we've been... Denbyshire. There's Anglesey, Anglesey isn't it? We've yeah. been recently. Yeah. Been all the way up to there, haven't we? Yeah. That's a big map. <laughs> More cameras. In case you don't know, the Keithley and Worth Valley Railway has become synonymous with the 1970 film of the Railway of Children, starring Jenny Agatha, Sally Tomsett, Gary Warren, Dinah Sheridan and Bernard Cribbins. Most of the film was shot on the railway and nearby areas. And the house called The Three Chimneys is in Oxenhope. The Bronte Parsonage in Har Harworth was used for Dr Forrest's surgery and Oakworth Station was used extensively. And there was also a series for television as well in 1968. So a vintage carriages trust provides carriages for films and TV and either sending the carriage by road or rail to film studios or using the carriages out on the Keithley and Worth Valley Railway or in situ making use of the green screen. Women in White, BBC's Holiday, Peaky Blinders, Sherlock Holmes, North and South, Brideshead Revisited, Testament of Youth, Woman in Black, and Pullman, and Dining Sets. So we're shooting here again. <laughs> yeah, using an E instead of an O. Mm. Yeah, Fancy a bit of wheat meat, Pops? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wheat meat? No? Okay. <laughs> uh, developing a model railway. Still in under development. and play with the controls pups. Go on. Yeah, right, I think I understand it. <laughs> Reversing lever. Firebox doors. Sand the control, that's what you sand out. It's working something, it's moving that. Yeah. Steam control for injectors. It's there. Vacuum injector control. Yeah, we'll figure this out. Gives a couple of years. <laughs> pressure gauge. It's the boiler pressure gauge. 
And that's the brake cylinder gauge. Don't get too mixed up. All these books. That's it for today's video. Got quite a lot out of uh, that one ticket that we bought. Yeah. So yeah, it's three, three, three museums. Three museums, yeah. Yeah. Train, train, train ride. ride. Yeah. And you could have gone up and down, up and down all, all day. All day, yeah, yeah. Went to the Bronte uh, uh, museum, didn't we? Yeah. And had lunch. Yeah. That's been a lovely day. Yeah, no, it's been good. So if you've enjoyed it as much as I have, give us a thumbs up, remember to subscribe, and we'll catch up with you soon. You off then, pups? Go on, keep going. Cheshire Lines Railway. Well, that uh, runs nearby where I live, or well, used to run where I live. Now it's a cycleway. Oh. Or something. Yeah.